Thank you so much for joining us, Governor Hassan. We're so lucky that you're here with us. And these are all the kindergartners from the Concord YMCA. Excellent. They've come to hear you uh, speak today. So my name is Becky Whitley. I'm the New Hampshire field organizer for Moms Clean Air Force. If you don't know, Moms Clean Air Force is a powerful community of parents united to protect children's health against air pollution and climate change. We're a children's health organization and environmental advocacy group with over 600,000 members nationwide and 4,000 members in New Hampshire. So today, we gather here to learn about air and how important it is to our health. We also gather here to highlight important efforts in New Hampshire and nationwide to protect your right to clean air and a stable climate. And we're very lucky in New Hampshire to have a governor who is very supportive of those efforts, both nationally and the state. Um, and, you, and we're very thankful that the governor continues to stay the course as national efforts, um, you know, there are attempts to derail the national efforts to reduce carbon emissions. And we're very thankful that the governor has stayed the course here in New Hampshire. So thank you for that. Um, before Governor Hassan reads this beautiful book, I just want to introduce Dr. Judy Silverberg of New Hampshire Project Learning Tree. Thanks, Becky. Boys and girls, you impressed me so with your answers about why trees are important. And that's why we've joined in this important partnership with Moms Clean Air Force, is that New Hampshire Project Learning Tree, we does training for educators throughout the state. Several hundred educators every year from pre-K through high school take part in our training. And we learn about trees, and we learn about the importance of trees. And trees give us what? Clean air. air. That's right. They give us clean air. And so we're really happy to be here today to listen to the book and um, to share some activities that we'll give to your teacher so that they can go back and do some activities about trees in their classroom. Because New Hampshire Project Learning Tree we're a 501c3 and really depend upon the forest of this state and the people of this state to help us get that important message out. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here, Governor Hassan. And I'm going to just hand you these on. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, you will join with, with uh, Mom's Clean Air Force. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Okay, and I'm Dominique. How many of you know what a governor is? Here's a governor, she's the leader of the whole state, just like your teacher is the leader of you. So what do we say? Hello, governor. Yes, okay. Nice to see you. Hello, boys and girls. Governors. You know all about governors? I saw you. Yeah, did I come over to your Y? Is that where you saw me? No, where'd you see me? The Easter egg. At the Easter egg home. Did you have a good time? I did too. I'm glad Remember you had a good time. My mom was a state employee. Ah, that's right. Okay, now I'm remembering it just exactly. There we go. Yeah. So the other thing about this governor is that she is also a mom. She's a mom, and she really cares about all of you being really, really healthy and having good, clean water and good, clean air. And I have written this book that's all about air, and the governor is going to read it to you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> And um, boys and girls, I just want to compliment you on really good manners and really good patience because you've been here a little while and I was delayed getting out to see you. So thank you for being so patient. Thank you for being here because I care a lot about making sure our air is clean and healthy for all of you, not only so you can be healthy yourselves, but so that when you're all grown-ups, our planet is just as good, if not even better than it is now, yeah. um, so that you can all raise families here and enjoy the quality of life in, in New Hampshire that we're known for, too. So um, with that, you're going to- I'll show pictures. You'll so show you pictures and I'll read, good. okay. So the title of this book is Every Breath We Take, and it is a book about air, and Dominique is its author. Air is everywhere, inside and outside. Every breath you take is full of air. Every single person on earth, no matter where he comes from or what she looks like, needs clean air. Air keeps us alive. When a baby is born, he fills his lungs with air. When a baby screams, she pushes air out. 
<laughs> you can feel air going into your lungs too. They're like balloons. Everybody take a deep breath. Can you feel that? Yeah. You can hug yourself and feel the air moving in and out. You can do that too. Every creature, big or small, needs clean air. Elephants, grasshoppers, dogs, turtles, and monkeys all need clean air. Grass, flowers, trees, and vegetables need clean air to live and grow. Clean air is invisible, but you know it is there. You can see air coming out of your mouth on a freezing cold day. You can see air moving the leaves on trees or blowing bubbles everywhere. You can feel the air on your skin. It can feel warm or it can make you shiver. Breezes can be so gentle that they rock you to sleep. Storm gales can be so strong that they blow down trees. Wind is moving air. Anybody feel any wind today outside? Yeah, there was quite a bit, right? What is it? Butterflies, dragonflies, birds and airplanes ride on the wind. So do hot air balloons and dandelion puffs. Kisses fly on the wind when you blow them to someone you love. Air carries sounds. It carries lullabies at bedtime and songs sung out loud. It carries the sounds of birds chirping and of thunder rumbling when it rains. Air carries smells, too. It carries all kinds of scents, like the sweetness of chocolate chip cookies, the saltiness of the ocean, and the spice of pine needles. Air looks and smells bad when it is dirty. That's called air pollution. Air pollution is not supposed to happen. Dirty air can make us sick. Sometimes it can be hard to breathe. In some places, the air is so dirty that it's hard to see across the street. We have rules about air pollution to keep our air clean. And dirty air can be cleaned up. There are many ways to keep our air clean. We can turn on the lights and heat our homes with clean energy from the sun and the wind. We can drive cars that don't pollute and ride bikes more often. And we can always walk. Every breath we take should be full of clean air. Clean air is like love. It's invisible, but it makes life better. What do you think, boys and girls? Yeah, I do too. Thank you. That is wonderful. A book maker is a wonderful book. Um, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Governor Hassan, for reading the book. Can everyone say thank you? Thank you. You guys were terrific, really. I mean it. Um, and I really, really thank you for coming out. Do you, do you have a good idea of why we care about clean air? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're going to work to keep our clean air? Clean air helps us breathe. Yeah. Also, plants help us breathe too. That's exactly right. You guys are doing a good job learning about it. Well done.